In this video, we will cover the zooming function found in Song Surgeon version 3.0. And to state, I guess, what should be obvious is that you really don't need to use the zooming function unless you are trying to edit or set loop points up here in the waveform window. Because short of using it for that, I can't think of any reason that it would need to be used. But it is a very important and integral part of the whole software because one of the main advantages of a piece of software like Song Surgeon is the ability to set loop points and to edit the waveform file. So you will be using it, I think, quite frequently. With that as an introduction, then, let's go ahead and take a look at the zooming function. It is very different than what we have had in the previous versions of Song Surgeon. Uh, whereas in those versions you used to click <coughs> either right click or left click in the waveform file and that would cause it to zoom. In this current version the way that the zoom works is that we have a slider here that you can drag and you can go from essentially one second all the way out to the entire song. Now if you think about this for a second this is different than the zooming functions found on most types of software because they usually do a percentage of zoom and that percentage really doesn't mean anything it's a relative number but in our case we've decided to use different units which are seconds so if you click all you see the entire song however however many seconds or minutes there are in this case there are four minutes and 48 seconds if you click 20 it shows only 20 seconds of the song on your screen if you click 10 it shows 10 seconds five one. So the concept is different here and I think you're going to find it quite useful because you will find um, as you use this that you're comfortable with one of these increments here. Uh, 20 seconds is something that I found that works very well for me that it gives you a sufficient zoom that you can begin to set the loop points fairly accurately but at the same time the progress indicator doesn't move so quickly that you're onto the next screen before you know it. If you go down to a second obviously when the progress indicator moves you're going from one screen to the next as you see here so quickly that it really doesn't do you much good. If you get up to five seconds, you know, it's a little better, but it still goes by relatively quickly. So you'll find an interval that works good for you, but I typically would suggest that you start at 20 and see how that works. And then if, you, if you're trying to set a loop point and you get something pretty close to where you want it, but you need more precision, then, you know, so let's say here that we want to set something right around eight seconds. So we had go ahead and we put our progress indicator there. And now let's try to zoom in a little more closely. There we are again. There we are again. Now we have just two seconds on the screen and we can go down to a single second. So as you can see, we can now set fairly precisely wherever we might want to insert um, a loop point. Let's say we want it, you know, right here. There is the beginning, there is the end, and now we have loop point set up. So that really is all there is to using this. It's simply a matter of clicking one of these presets, finding something you're comfortable with, and then as you need to, progressively zooming in closer and closer. And I would suggest that most of the time you do use the presets. If there is some reason you want something that's between 20 and all, then of course you can just drag this slider and as you can see as you move it, the zoom indicator changes and tells you how many seconds you have on the screen. And that's a nice feature to give you some gauge as to where you are in the zooming process. So that will conclude this video on using the zooming function found in Song Surgeon.